Hi, and welcome to A Humble Experience. I'm Heather, and today I would like to make for you a copycat version of a salad that I've had at a restaurant, um, an Italian restaurant, and I've really enjoyed this salad. However, with the rising prices um, at restaurants and at the stores, I have um, gotten this recipe and I really enjoy making it. Um, and it's very close, if not better than the restaurant. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the atmosphere and I'm not paying for that. So let me uh, tell you what salad this is. This is a apple uh, gorgonzola salad. And uh, while I was out at, the, at a store walking around, I found these candied pecans. And I know I've seen smaller containers at the regular grocery store. So why should we make them when we can buy a bag? Um, this one wasn't too much and, you know, they're good to snack on and put in the salad. And then I have cranberries, just some dried cranberries. I have some uh, gorgonzola cheese that I picked up at, um, I shall say, Trader Joe's because they have uh, pretty good prices on their cheese, especially the different uh, unique varieties that um, are still, I guess, gourmet at a regular grocery store. Um, and I've been using this for the salad, so that's why it's a smaller piece, but this will uh, do good for a couple more salads. I have olive oil here, and it's three-fourths of a cup. And I have some white wine vinegar, and that is a third of a cup. And I will be blending those together in a blender. I also have, uh, I've chopped up one uh, tablespoon of red onion. I have two garlic cloves here. I have the oregano. I have three quarters of a teaspoon of dried oregano. I have half of a teaspoon of dry mustard, half of a teaspoon of kosher salt, and I just did a little dash of pepper, so it's eighth of a teaspoon, um, and I'll be adding those to the vinaigrette. And then let's get started with the salad. I use romaine. Um, I find these little baby heads good for one meal, or uh, depending on how many goodies you add into them, um, you know, one is good for one person. If not, uh, one large head uh, will make a couple of servings for you. And then I also have one Granny Smith apple. It's on the larger side. But let me get started. Uh, I also have a salad spinner. I love my salad spinner when I uh, cut up my salad here or my lettuce. I can rinse it off in here and then uh, spin it and get most of the uh, liquid off. I just have a knife. So how I like to cut my lettuce is down one side. And then I just do another quarter of a turn. And I cut it down like that. And then I just make about one inch chunks. And then um, that's going away. If you have a pet rabbit or guinea pig, even a hamster, they would like that. Let me get this washed. All right, so now that I have my salad washed, stumping it out, I'm just putting it in a larger bowl for now. Let me set that back here. And then portion out my salad here. That way I'm not dressing all of the salad. That looks good. because I'm gonna be putting the goodies on top. So let me set that aside. And then let me, I'm cutting the apple in half. I wanna have some bigger chunks and then I'm just going to, um, uh,
and then I'm just going to uh, do the do some chunks for my salad. I'm just making enough for myself. And if you definitely have more people, you probably want to do two apples. But what I'm going to do is, for presentation purposes, I'm going to cut some thin slices. And then I'm going to cut some chunks and I'm actually going to add to the salad. And one way to prevent your apple from browning is have a, a, glass, um, a bowl of water and then just add some like a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. Um, if you don't have lemon juice, you can do citric acid or you can do a little bit of um, lime juice, just something acidic. Uh, no need to buy that, um, uh, the stuff at the store. Uh, if you read it, it's basically just citric acid which is vitamin C. You can also chop up a vitamin C tablet if you'd like. So I'm going to leave these whole until I, um, I'm going to be cutting them into chunks in a minute. And then if you have a mandolin, you can cut it thinner. Uh, if you want, actually, I'm just going to use those, and then I'm going to just cut this one in a little larger chunks. There we go. Got that out of the way. I'm just going to put my other half in there, too. Uh, and one. then for the dressing, let's start with that. Uh, what I'm going to do is just add all of my dry ingredients and the white wine vinegar uh, to the... Uh, to my blender and then with the top off I'm going to slowly add the vinegar or the olive oil to the uh, mixture so it becomes a vinaigrette so let's let me get that oh. set up and just going to add all of these ingredients to my mixer and if you have a magic bullet, I've done it in there as well. Get the lid on. I'm gonna start this on low. Just get everything blended to start. And that's how we make the dressing. Super easy. Okay, now that I have the vinaigrette made, all I did was scrape down the sides and then just blend it a little bit longer uh, just to make sure everything was incorporated. It smells so good. And you can make extra of that if you have leftovers, put it in the fridge. Um, just give it a stir before you use it on the next salad. So what I did is I got my, like I said, I made my portion. I have extra here. So I'm just gonna put it in a plastic bag. It'll be ready for next time, uh, my next salad. And then I'm putting some dried cranberries on. Others, uh, I usually just do about a handful. You don't have to measure anything out. I do about that much. So maybe an eighth to a quarter of a cup. And then uh, I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dress my salad in this bowl. So I'm just going to put this extra salad in my bag for the refrigerator. I put the cranberries in there, so I'll just dress it with that. If you want to put a little extra cranberries on there, it'll just have some of the dressing. And then 
Um, I'm gonna leave the pecans off until after I put the salad back in the bowl. And then I'm just gonna pour some of this dressing on and use it sparingly. Uh, Cause it is a little tart and you can always put more on. And if you're waiting, um, if you're gonna have this uh, like a dinner party or something, I would wait to dress the salad until you know everybody is there. So I didn't put too much on. I just lightly coated all the leaves. And then now for my candied pecans, just putting a little bit on today. And then my gorgonzola. And this is crumbly or you can cut it. It's, it's up to you. What I normally do is like, I'll take a little chunk like this and then I'll break it on my salad. And if you want to dress everything together, um, you can do whatever you want, it's your salad. I just like the presentation uh, of how this looks. And this is similar to how we um, have enjoyed it at the restaurant. So there's that, that looks good. And now for my apples, I'm just gonna bring this over here. And my thicker ones, I'm just gonna cut chunks of them and by all means, you can, um, uh, you could have uh, tossed those with the dressing as well. There we go. And this is my version of the apple gorgonzola salad from an Italian restaurant that I've enjoyed going to. I made this for friends as well. They've all have, all have enjoyed it. And it's a fraction of the cost of what it costs at the restaurant. So now's the time to be frugal, but why, why skimp on the taste? Perfect dressing. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a like. You can drop me a note in the comments below. And thanks for watching. <music>